Hey there, everyone. So, uh, I guess there's no one playing... Oh, my... <sighs> Sorry, this dude is, like, lowest level of darkest. And I can only imagine why he's the lowest level of darkest. Like, whenever you combine these two, it's just a friggin' nightmare. He's just gonna protection. He's just gonna... Where's the bulwark? Yep, there's bulwark. Where is it? Where's my bolster? He actually doesn't have a bolster. That's surprising. Oh, he's just gonna get the... Mm, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Oddly enough, I... Uh, I actually don't want the Abomination going. Um, I really just don't want to take that extended hard damage dealt and all that crap, so we're actually gonna just not deal with that at all. Um, yeah, I was, I was waiting for the stunning blow. And I think like a moron, I took off Blackjack. So what we're gonna do is we're also gonna Vendetta this, um, the Anticorium for hopefully, yeah, lower dodge the whole fight. Um, so now we can't exactly rely on dodge cheeses where accuracy, um, debuff cheeses hopefully, so he's gonna, yeah, he said, okay. So, does he have the item on that increases repose? Not necessarily, so... What do I want to do? Do I just want to focus the Anticorium? Let's see how bad he hits me in the face. Seven. It's not great, but the amount of damage I did to him is going to be way more than seven, so I might just have to be pumping full heals into the uh, Houndmaster for a little bit there. Rejuvenating Vapors, perfect. No damage. I go, he goes. I can stun up his... Crusader then. Okay, so yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna have to just allow him to one stun a turn. Um, that's pretty much the, gonna be the vessel's main jo uh, Joel. Main job here. Um, he's just gonna obviously pick the abomination right away, yeah. He's either gonna slam or as a beast pile. Because that activates repose. Alright, no more. I can't I can't do Hound's Harry anymore, which is fine. The Houndmaster has plenty of other skills that are adequate. Um, I am going to activate Riposte, though. I say I'm going to stab right into this Crusader. Uh, he doesn't... I mean, he can start to bellow, which I can't remove damn... Oh, no. See, this is where the automatic loss just starts coming in. Oh, it's so frustrating. Because I don't have an Arbalist, I automatically lose because I'm not going to be able to do enough damage. Just absolutely one of my favorite friggin' situations to have. What's that? Since you don't know they're picking a man at arms, you automatically lose. Yep, because he's just gonna do that till the end days, wait till the bellow until I can't do any damage because I didn't pick a pure uh, DPS lineup. Ah, frustrating. Frustration nation, to say the least. Um, I can stun up the Abomination, which is probably... I think I'm just going to have to go back and forth controlling, um, wow, 13 stress on one repost. Holy crap, yeah, I need to get that dude under control. He won't pick him till the very end. Oh, and a crit 6. Wait, what? Was that a crit 12 or 6? Looked like it was only 6. Yeah, and I really need my, uh... I'm just going to keep scooting this guy over for point blank blast because eventually I'm, I'm not going to have any damage. Because they still haven't fixed the man at arms. And this is why this combo drives me crazy. It's just a, such a low skill play. I'm sorry. This is why. Uh, this is why this DLC bothers me. It was just. I don't know why they're doing tournaments and other crap when they clearly can't get the original base game correct. I mean, it's just... the imbalance is insane. It's just absolutely insane. Rejuvenate, yeah, Rejuvenating Vapors. It's just, this combo is just so devastating if you don't have, like, a Mark Strat or something. Yeah, it's just... it's very hard to get past. Oh my god, dude, how are you getting crits on that crap? Oh, man. Yeah, I'm just trying my best to get these two in the front in Affliction. I mean, it's like the only choice I got left. Because, I mean, I'm 9 HP, and I'm assuming he'll probably swap to Festering Vapors very soon here. And now I can't stun because he's, uh, he's in death blow range. But I feel like I almost have to go on the offensive. So, you know, I'm just going to... Um... I don't know. 
I think I'm gonna skip it for one turn. Just kind of see how it rides out. In all honesty, I mean, he can he can use manacles for death blow chance. He can use uh, uh retribution for death blow chance. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Now I have to heal him, but oh man, times are rough. Good news is, well, I guess he can he can stun up the Houndmaster. You have probably the no, he doesn't have that on. So I have a sixty percent chance of getting uh, rejuvenated Goopers. Yay! Yay! Oh, uh, okay. So yeah, I'm gonna get his guy to death door, so I can actually wicked slice him for a good death door chance. Where I'll hounds Harry. I'll probably hounds Harry. He's gonna do beast bile though. But, that's at least an attack move, and I can repost this- Oh, he's gonna transform now. Shoot. Okay, who you slamming? That's not really bad. I mean, it doesn't really do too terribly- Oh, it does send him back there. There's only one repost up. We'll give it a chance. I'll probably go to Death Door, but- Oh, Death Blow, there we go. Yeah, eat your crappy composition. I'm still probably not going to win, though, because, like I said, it's... Well, thankfully, he hasn't been spamming Bellow very hard, which has surprised me. He's been very, uh, riposte-heavy, which I think he should have been changing gears a long, long... Yes, he's going to transform. Uh, he's going to do either Manacles or Beast Bile. He's going to re-transform. I'm going to have 16 for four turns. It's going to be pretty brutal, to say the least. Um... I am going to stun him though, so he can't transform next turn. And also what that'll allow me to do is I will be able to wicked slice him without many repercussions. How much is that? Five? Okay, I have one HP. Oof. He is gonna defend him, interesting. Um I mean. Yeah, as I'll say I had a decent crit chance. And it was the only thing I was gonna do damage. So, your turn, then my turn, then your- oh shoot, it's his turn. Which means I'm gonna eat Festering Vapors twice in the face. Do I not have Repost up? Shoot. I'm not gonna be able to get it up before he does it again. Yeah, he's definitely gonna have Festering Vapors on me again. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that sucks a lot. I thought I- I thought I, uh, I stunned this dude. Apparently not. Yeah, here we go. Probably Death Blow. Death Door. Yeah, and this is where it just gets whole levels of stupid. Because you can kind of outplay this comp for a while, but once they decide to just bellow Festering Vapor Span, you're like, oh, it's just, we're done. Like, we just can't win. Wait for the bellow. Bellow, 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 bellow. Why does he keep using Retribution so much? Um, I do have to attack into it, though he's at full HP. And also crits are good, get some stress. And we'll also maybe force them to heal quicker. Ah, and the abominations resolve got tested. Excellent. Hopefully he does. I just need them to start doing stupid things like passing their turns and whatnot. Um oh, he was stunned. I guess it was somewhere hidden. I don't know. I don't know. Good gracious. How freaking oh, because of the abominations. I'll say, how the heck do you have that much? Uh, what I'm gonna do is just get this dude to a death door, essentially, so I can heal both of them with a, uh, whatever that crap's called. I'm really just trying to get those DOT tick-ups to match the uh, rejuvenation thing, so he feels like he has to heal instead of using Festering Vapors. But though, I think if he was smart, he has plenty of heals right now, and he really should just probably Festering Vapors and Bellow twice. I do have Repost up, but I think you'll be okay, especially- oh, 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 man. I never get any of the fun ones. Even if it was a Manacles, the stone my people would have been better than getting 8 stress for 4 turns and then getting slammed for all my health gone. Oh boy, what is that, 16 stress? Well, that's an affliction. Um... Yeah, I'll tell you what I'm gonna try to do. I'm gonna try to keep everyone semi-healthy it's not gonna work well I'm gonna have two afflictions next turn come on festering vapors he's probably gonna do rejuvenating isn't he oh, that's one proposed chance hey 18 there it is all right I'm gonna focus that mofo in the back so hard now that's pretty much my win Ooh, even better 
Nine. Uh, da, 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 da. You can't actually kill me, so just go for it. Just give me a... Uh... Oh, you could, though. You have post up, but not if I focus the Antiquarium, so never mind. I'm going to make the Anti... That's interesting. No, no, no. I'll... See? See, I get the dumbest freaking afflictions, and this guy hurts himself for three HP. Like, mm, like nothing. Nothing. Ah, God, it's so annoying. So much RNG. Uh, despise this lineup with a passion. Yeah, I'm not sure what to do. Ah, we'll just double heal. Because our stupid Antiquarium friend's gonna get to go first. Now, I do need a point in blank, because I will need a repose next turn. Hope for another crit. Seven damage? What? Is that how much protection you have now? 60%? Holy heck. Holy heck. I still have my repost up. The abomination will probably go first. Yep, there it is. Uh, rake? What is it? Oh, you moved back one. Poor you. Oh my, that must have been so devastating for your freaking lineup. Heaven forbid you move back one freaking spawn freaking frickle frackle. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm having fun. Don't worry. May sound like I'm just wanting to pull the remains of my hairs out. Does he bell? Come on, skip your turn. Something. Oh my gosh. Yep, there's the Bella spam. And doesn't do a single point of damage, so I can't rip your face off on a repost. Oh, I just so badly want to do that. Has stress ability that does no damage and lowers your damage. And there's like, what, one character in the game that counters that? One? The Arbalist? No, 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 oh my heavens. Oh, I just want a Hound's Harry. I just want to Hound's Harry. The last two turns have been wasted because I can't Hound's Harry, and this dude's just now going to just stress the crap out of me. Oh, that is just... I despise losing to these comps so bad. There's just despise. Losing to these comps. Oh, look at that. I do something good and my guy gets mad. Mm -hmm. Um, I could Holy Lance him, but I, I don't even know if it's worth it. I mean, I might even just get a hard attack. I don't know. I mean, he is stalwart. He can give out good stuff, so I might as well uh, not lose my cool and try to keep him alive for just another couple of turns. I mean, he does have to pick him for... He does gain one HP. Shoot. Gains a HP. So he's just gonna bellow again, yeah. Because it's it's an ability with no repercussions. It's a completely safe ability. There's not a there's not a single bad side to it, which is just the very frustrating part. That essentially, wait, you're not protected anymore. Okay, we're not dealing with this then. No, 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 no! Don't you dare! Oh my God! Flipping flipper flappers. Sorry, hey, I'm back. Dude, two four skills. Oh my heavens. I'm so mad right now. Just so mad. This game is just continuously bending me over. Oh my. Holy, 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 heaven almighty somewhere. Holy, ah, dude, I'm just, uh, dude, how is that what you get? And I get, like, literally turn-passing, skill-wasting. Oh, God, this game is, mm. I'm trying, I'm trying to do my best here to not, like, literally, mm, this game. Oh, heavens. How much HP do you get back? Three? Oh, you're gonna freaking have a heart attack next turn. Oh. Just, just, I don't even know. It doesn't even matter. I mean, oh, I just, oh my. 
No, it did matter. Why did I do that? I'm just so triggered right now. Just so freaking triggered. It's just, it's way too late now. I've had so many turns skip, it's not even funny. And this dude hasn't gotten a single bad negative quirk. Like, if you, you mark yourself, like, who gives a crap? Yeah, my Hound's Rush is gonna do more now. Cool. Like, I guess well played, I mean. Oh, it's just how lucky this dude's been. It's just, it's beyond phenomenal. Gets to darkest on a trash party comp that takes zero skill and then proceeds to get the lucky affliction statuses of his life. It just blows me away. It's not even funny. Like, seriously, what a trash comp. Like, this is the... I could give my wife this composition and she probably went half the time not even knowing what this game is. Oh, that's how bad this composition is. Look at this, nothing. Once again, just gets to free ball it. I mean, it's a miss, but I mean, like, still. What what, what issues did he have doing? Like, well, I mean, it's what I wanted to do, but once again, it's... <laughs> It was done for me. That's the that's the frustrating part. Here comes a bellow. I mean, even through all of this, like honestly, beyond terrible, beyond terrible luck, beyond terrible luck, I am still so possibly close to killing this dude. So possibly close. I mean, my luck has been something of, like, lore, almost, with my afflictions. And I'm still, I'm still almost there. If I get, like, a turn pass, I can win this. Like, literally, a single turn pass. Oh, my god. Flippin' crap. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. oh, I can't do it. I can't do it. How am I supposed to win? Oh, how? Tell me, with five to six turn passes, how am I supposed to win? I, I've had like, dude, do something. What is it? It's hopeless. You're hopeless, but yet you've done your move every turn. Every bloody fucking turn. Oh. Oh my gosh, I can only do 9 damage because I'm probably still 40%. Oh. Oh, it hurts. It hurts so bad. Oh, that's what you do? You do a 2 stab and a daze between your two characters? Bravo. Holy crap, you missed. Oh, wait, but you have to go first. Go to Death's Door. Go back to him doing another Festering Vapors where he'll do Festering Vapors, which will knock me to 0 HP. Give me 25 stress and this game ends. Oh. Oh, dude, I can't do this game. Like, I can't believe I just lost. Oh, my. I don't even. No, I'm not going to let him have the satisfaction. Mess off. Dude, I'm done. That. I'm pulling up right now. What is the chance your hero does something with Affliction? Butchers. DLC, what is that freaking called? Affliction chance to do something. I don't know. I I have to go back. That is that is unbelievable. I have never seen something so stupid. I mean, that dude lost five times over. If it wasn't for the fact I literally couldn't take a single action. Oh, I'm so... I don't think this game has actually ever made me this mad, but I will admit, this... That match made my blood boil. The dude was freaking trash. 
I don't know how you got the. Well, I do know how you got the dark, darkest, but like, dude, you got beyond lucky. Like, literally every single thing that could have gone your way went your way. I don't. The only thing I got lucky with is what I got the. Um, was it the death blow and the crusader in the first hit? But come on, one twenty-five percent chance to like. So is it a, just a normal affliction then? Because I don't know what they kept from Darkest Dungeon and what they actually changed because, like I said, I don't think they rolled this out very well. Okay, so I'm looking in the wiki here and most of the affliction chances have like a 30% chance to do something. And of that 30% chance, 10% to pass chance, I mean to just pass... 5% to pass, 5% to pass, I'll have to go back through and see what afflictions I had, but 8% uh, to pass, so I pretty much was just hitting 10% the whole night, so, you know, I was probably well below, I was probably rocking, like, you know, mm, I don't even know, I just don't even know, what was his um abomination, he was hopeless, 5% chance to cause Bardi stress, 10% to move backwards, 5% to pass turn, 5% to use random skill, 5% to attack self, 5% to mark self. So I think he moved back once and marked himself once in like the 6 to 7 turns he had. Would have been real nice if he used that, you know, just that pass. Uh, man. Man, 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 man. That is just so stupid. There's a whole bunch of other stuff, but... Oh, I can't even. I can't even. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video, but... Uh, I feel like every time I play the Butcher's Circus, I'm just one step closer from just pretty much saying, screw this DLC, it is the most unthought out obviously not taken care for I mean the fact that the mana arms anticorium strategy is something people found back in May and it's early September and they still haven't touched it is just beyond me I mean they've made they've made no efforts to actually change the gameplay and I personally haven't seen any stronger connection with desync issues. So they haven't connected, they haven't fixed the desync issue, the connection issue, and they haven't fixed the gameplay. All they did was start a new season, which is just quite frankly frustrating because now I'm in this tier, or this tier, I don't know, I'm in this tier and I'm fighting level one darkest. I skipped the whole entire tier because, yeah, it's just, it's just weird. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I personally did not. Um, like and subscribe below.